Hey guys, it's Kelly from Sevens Emporium. In this video, we're going to talk about craft fair booth display ideas. I recently asked fans to send in photos of their craft fair booths. I really hope that some of their photos can help you get some ideas for your craft fair booth. This is an example of a really great booth. She had these dividers that the craft fair had put up for her to separate the booths, which is really nice because a lot of times you don't have any definition of your own space, so that was really nice of them to do that. I love that she has picked a color scheme and a theme and she's stuck with it. They had white backgrounds, which kind of played into her favor, and she brought in these pink panels and put them up to match her rug, to match her table, to match her ladders that she has over here. So pink and white is her scheme and she's gone with that. I love that she's chosen to do all of her signs in the chalkboards. That's a really popular idea and it's really nice because you can change that out if you need to. Um, and it's really fun and whimsical, especially if you have children's items to do chalkboard. I like that she has everything labeled, everything priced. She has her deals going on. People kind of know what they're gonna be able to get. I love that she has her banner up here and that it has her website on it. That's very important. If maybe people are hustling by or they can't get into your booth or they need to leave or something like that, they can take a picture of that with their phone, go home, look up your shop, and shop that way. I love that she has open floor space here. And she was able to have that because she utilized vertical space. And that's something you're going to hear me say throughout the video. That's very, very important. And it's often overlooked. People don't often use all of the vertical space that's available. And that's kind of a shame because that's free space. Just because you're paying for the floor space doesn't mean you can't use the vertical space around that. So try to find ways to incorporate vertical space usage into your booths. I like that she has these grid wall panels. And these are really great. She's got these that are freestanding, so they're not going to fall over. And she's packaged her items in such a way that they fit on there. They're easily accessible. It's very professional looking. Things stay clean. The pieces stay together. That's really great. I also love that she has this little table down here. And if you have coloring pages, if you put a few of those out as a sample and little kids can walk by and play with that while their parents are able to shop, that is a huge draw. I've done that myself, and that's a great idea. I like the ladders either like this or if you maybe she has kind of shorter ladders if you'd had these on a table and you even have one over here and one on the other side and you run a plank in between them you can get a lot of vertical space out of that that's a great idea really like this booth here's an example of a booth that has a lot of the same type of product and she has these packaged so that they stay neat and tidy and clean. She has one of these that's opened and on display, which is a very, very good idea. So people know what the product is going to look like, but they don't have to take every one of them out of the package to be able to see that. That way you don't have to have like a ton of hanging space if maybe your booth space doesn't permit that. She's used these wire baker's racks. That's what she had told us that she used. And they're folding. That is a great idea because anytime you can have some sort of display unit that will collapse or fold, you can put that in your cargo area and take more product because you're not taking up as much of your transportation space with your display item. So that's a really great idea and I love what she's done there with that. This booth is really, really clever. She's used these grid panels and on the panel she's put these little buckets. And she has one mask on the outside of the bucket, and all of her product is inside the bucket. This is a fantastic idea for something like this because little kids are going to eat that up. They're going to go in there. They're going to see their favorite characters. They're going to be able to look all the way up and find whatever they want. That is a great, great marketing and display idea right there. She also has these crates, and I've done this in my own booth, where I've packed my crates full of product and then taken it to the craft fair and then just turn them on their side and you already have things ready to display. Again, she's gotten some vertical space out of all of this. She has a vertical space up here that she's using. So this is a really great booth and a really great idea for this. Here's a great idea of someone who has done a display table and made really great use of their space. They started out by putting this tablecloth on to keep everything nice and neat and tidy. 
I love that and I know that some crafters actually require you to have a uh, tablecloth that goes all the way to the floor just because it kind of makes things look a little more professional um, and it also kind of gives you some hidden space to keep extra stock down here under the table or maybe items that you use to transport your items that's really great space I like that she has these baskets She's got everything in there really neat. She's got everything labeled. She's got everything priced. She's got some risers back here. Very important. She could have just as easily put this basket right behind this one, but you wouldn't be able to see it as well. It's very important to get things up where people can see them. You can either use a cardboard box. You can use a step stool. You can use some sort of specific riser item. It doesn't really matter as long as you can get things up where people can see them. I love the idea that she's taken an extra tablecloth and she's draped it over her risers because that keeps it looking uniform and neat and tidy there. That's really great. It's always a good idea. Like I said, if maybe you used a cardboard box, you wouldn't want to have a cardboard box showing on your table. So if you think that whatever you're using to display is maybe a little ugly, cover that up with something. Use some fabric. Use um, I've even used poster board to do some things. If you can get black poster board, it looks like chalkboard. And people really like that if maybe you have kind of a chalkboard themed booth. So this is a great idea if you have a table space only. I chose this photo because she has used something that is often only used commercially. And this is a vertical hanging clip. And at least that's what Amazon calls it. And I really like how she has this suspended from a shelf and she has her packaged product on these little clips. You can clearly see what she has. It's going to be easy just to pop one of those off. So that's a really, really great idea. If maybe you even had this at your register area uh, where you're checking people out, that would be really great if you could hang some of these vertical hanging clips there. That would be a great idea. Here we have another example of a table space where they have utilized vertical space on that. And I don't know what sort of riser they have going on with this, but I'm sure that you could construct something either with wood or maybe, um, maybe you could even make like a PVC system and cover it with fabric so that these are like little hammocks in there. As long as the product would stand up, it doesn't really matter what you use as long as it's not going to look tacky when people take product off. So you want it to look nice. Um, but you got to use what you got to use and it's kind of important for people to be able to see your product so definitely take a look at what you've got and figure out how it looks best displayed this is just very appealing to me because you see this as like a wall of hooded towels and I would definitely go there and check out all those great towels here's an example of someone who knows how to display their product in a way that's really appealing She's used these frames and probably stapled ribbon to the back of the frame so that she has a nice, colorful, fun place to hang these flower clips. This is a really great idea. A lot of times you can get picture frames like this for really cheap at a yard sale or at Goodwill or something like that. If maybe you don't want to have to build a whole frame, you can just buy a picture frame, gut that thing, and use it for whatever. If you didn't want to put these ribbons in there, you could just as easily get some pegboard and put behind there and make framed pegboard item holders for something like key fobs or something like that. I really like that she's used these jewelry displays. She's got these cute bandanas on so that you can tell, hey, she's got bandanas. That's what I want to get. She's got this other jewelry display. This has, I think it's pacifier clips on it. That's a great idea. She has another one here with teething rings on it. That's a great idea. I also really like that she has space that is decorated for the type of craft fair that she's at. She's obviously at a Christmas craft fair and she's chosen to have some space that wasn't just crammed full of product. It's very tempting to put everything that you have out but you don't have to do that um, if it's going to make your booth look really crammed and cluttered. I like the use of this. This is also a great idea if maybe you're a little light on product, maybe you were behind getting ready and you don't quite have enough and you don't want your booth to look empty, take that opportunity to find something fun to put in there that's not necessarily your product, but it takes up the space and it makes the booth look full. So you want it to look full, but it doesn't need to look cluttered. So you can find a happy medium and this is a great idea of how to do that. 
Here we have someone who has built a custom item to display what she was selling. She had told me that she built these frames and covered them with this pegboard and she was nice enough to send in a photo of how exactly they look when they don't have product on them. But this is a great idea if you have something like this where you just need rows and rows and rows, these are really great. She has the appropriate length of hook. They're nicely spaced. It's very colorful and I really like that. I like that she's kind of broken it up with this basket unit here. and She's got maybe rolled up burp cloths. I'm going to say that's what that is because I see bibs hanging up down here. That's great. I love that she has this basket or bucket full of these really fun little taggy toys. I know I just said don't cram everything together, but in a situation like this, this will be one of the exceptions. There's always an exception. So this is a great idea because it's really fun and people can kind of pull one out, cram one in, and they can still see all of the colors and the textures, so that's a great idea. She also mentioned that she was able to score this magazine rack from a store. If you can find a store that's closing, a lot of times they'll sell their fixtures, and that's what these are called fixtures in the commercial world. You can get those for a song, and it's a really, really great idea to be able to pick up high-quality display items for not a lot of money. The legs on this will fold up, and this is pretty thin, and it will be easily transportable because it's lightweight and it's going to be compact. Here is the photo that she sent in of the framework that she built for her pegboards. And she said these feet will detach, and that way it's really flat when she wants to pack it up in the car. So that is a great idea. If you want to build something that's lightweight and portable, something like this is a great idea. I'm really loving the whimsical nature of this booth. Obviously it's Christmas time, they've dressed up in costumes, that's really super cute. They know what their product is and they know how to sell that. They have these racks, these are called spinner racks, and they have just these arms with little hooks. So if you have something like towels like this, or little things on hangers, or she's got doodlets down here in packages, those are really, really great ways to display those. And they go on the floor, they can flank your table. That's a great idea. I also love that she has used this little Christmas tree and she's loaded this thing up with all of these little key fobs. So that's a really cute idea for marketing toward the time of year. Here we have an example of an A-frame unit on a table that has been used to get height. I really like this because it's already on the table and then it's up even higher. So maybe if you're going down a hallway or down the, the road that the craft fair is on, it's really great if you can have some items up higher so they're over people's heads so you can kind of look down the way and say, hey, I really like what's going on down there. I definitely want to go check out that booth. Great idea for that. Here's a booth that has a lot of different display options and she has them in a nice way so that they kind of fit together. She's got these tiered units for her towels, which is great. She's got this revolving spinner um, pegboard unit for all of her little key fobs. That's great. She has items on the table over here. She has a riser right here with a stand where you can clearly see these bibs. This is really fun. Um, you might even can use something like, like a coffee cup rack or something that you could display those on just because the product says that it's for one thing does not mean you have to use it for that. Get creative. Figure out clever ways to use things. I like the her science match. She's got what they are, how much they are. I'm sure she has some sort of deal going on. One for whatever, two for whatever. That's great. She has these grid panels back here with these hooks where she's got bags hanging up. She's got all of these little hair bows right here. She has this grid panel corner unit, and I think you can actually buy this on Amazon. It has um, shelves that go in that. So that's a really great lightweight option. These shelves pop off, it folds up flat, you shove it in the car or the truck, and you're gone. I also like that she has made this really fun little whimsical banner up here. Anytime you can and kind of incorporate um, something fun into your booth, that's always going to be a good move. Here's an example of what I believe is a more permanent booth in a location like an art market or something like that. I don't know if this person has put up this pegboard or if maybe the market had built it, but it's a really great idea if you can get away with putting something like that up um, 
to kind of display your items. It's a nice backdrop. She's painted it a nice color. She's got some grid panel up here with some hooks. She has clothing on these hooks. These are called waterfall hooks. Um, and I'll have a link to those on the website. But waterfall or cascading, those are great words to look for items that are like this. This is actually called slat wall. And I didn't know that until I looked it up. But this is called slat wall. And you can buy this in sheets. And uh, it has these little hooks, kind of similar to how the grid panels go on. And you can put little cards on these. She's got her little logo on these. All these cute little bows on here. It's a great idea. I love how she's used these doors and then built this little ladder looking job up here. This is really clever, kind of rustic and it's very cute. It really makes her clothing pop off of this darker wood. I love that she's got the little hangers on here. So super cute. This one has a shelf with a hanger. This is really great. She even has a little mannequin here to showcase maybe a featured product or something. On the edge of this door, she squeezed every bit of space that she could out of things without making things look piled and cluttered by putting these little hooks up here and then hanging things on the edge. So this is a really great idea. You could take this with you if you wanted to. Some of these items are a little bit big, but if you were going to do this hardcore all the time and you were able to, maybe you had a trailer or something, this would be a great way to display things in a very, very nice boutique quality. You can check out great display ideas by visiting Seven Symporium's affiliate links at the link below. While I was searching on Amazon, I came up with sort of a list of words that I kept coming across again and again that were helping me to find the items that I was looking for in order to display other items. Some of these are rotating or revolving. Fixture is going to be something that's maybe more of a commercial use, something that came out of a store or is made for a store. Point of sale is going to be something that's maybe... Um, it would be for something that's maybe at a register or near a register. It could even be the register itself. So those are great um, things to look for that would be something that a store would have, which is kind of what you want to, to replicate with your booth. Look for stand or display or just stand or just display. Mix and match these words until you find what you're looking for. You can look for pegboard, slat wall, wire grid, grid wall, grid panel. Those are kind of words that would describe sort of a background of something that you could use to build a great display. Be sure that you're looking for things like racks, shelves, hooks. Look for tiered things. Look for things that are made for jewelry. Know what you have to display. Do you need baskets? Do you need hangers? If you need a hanger, do you want like a waterfall hanger or a cascading hanger? That's what I mentioned from the booth before where it's kind of a diagonal and it will allow you to hang multiple things in such a way that you can easily get them off of the hanger. Look for things that are folding. Look for things made for an exhibit. And if you have clothing or some item such as that, look for mannequins, dress forms, and body forms. For more videos and tutorials or to shop at digital embroidery files, please visit www.sevensemporium.com. Thanks for watching.